Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> From here in uh, Nikšić. Oh, these words are so hard. Here it is, spelt out, so you can give it a crack. Um, it's like a Croatian slash uh, Montenegrin word. Um, and the only reason I'm here in this town is because it's where their famous beer is made, Nikšiko. And so um, I, I completely forgot to mention that the other day. Um, I came here just to go try to crack into the brewery. This is what the brewery looks like. And uh, I tried translating in Serbian. Please, guys. I love your beer, can I please come inside? And they said, sorry, no, it's a factory. <laughs> and so, uh, unfortunately, I just went down to the pubs and I was just finding the freshest, the freshest Nikšiko beer. And it was very, very good. Uh, this is the outskirts of the city. Of, uh, so Nikšiko is, uh, Nikšik is, is that way. Uh, this place is called like the Royal Garden Event Center. I like the cow, it's a good touch. Of course, it's way too cold for the pool right now. I wish that there was a hot tub. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go check out. Um, Get some coffee, and then uh, I guess we'll see what the day has in store for us. I still don't know yet. Uh, this is what the flag looks like. Uh, I don't want to die leaving over this. It's a pretty cool flag. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I've only been on the road for literally like 10 minutes. And I had to pull over because I have to show you guys. This is why I think Montenegro is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Look at this. <laughs> Extraordinary beauty. Uh, as I'm going over towards the coast, this is um, getting towards the Bay of Qatar. But just beautiful. Ultra Crescivo. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's hop back in my little red rocket. Let's keep going. <laughs> so as we're getting closer to the bay, uh, you can see there's like these huge mountains and everything, but then there's these really flat valleys right in the center. And um, it's, it's, these are like the higher level up steps from the bay, that this is where the water would be settling if, if the sea level were higher. Um, so it's actually kind of cool to see this. It's like each one steps down closer and closer to the, to the Adriatic Sea. So let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, so we reached it, the Bay of Qatar, and then on the other side is the Adriatic Sea. And on a good, actually, you can kind of see Italy from here. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we've reached the bay. This is, uh, again, the Bay of Qatar. Um, so basically, I'm going to drive around the bay because I want to get down to the other side by the Adriatic. It's just beautiful, though. I think what really catches me is um, all the palm trees. A place with palm trees has my heart. Has my heart. I love it. I love it. Okay, we're gonna keep going down to the end of Peninsula. I really don't know how to explain to you guys just how beautiful this place is. Oh my god. It's just like... Mwah, mwah, mwah. As I said earlier, Ocho Crasiva. Very beautiful. Ocho, Ocho, Ocho Crasiva. This place just like... This goes up on my top list of like some of the most beautiful places in the world that I know. Like, I, I'm being completely honest with you guys. It's like, how can you not love this? Seagulls flopping down there. And also over here, there's um, uh, there's some islands of uh, two churches that were built by some Croats and by some Montenegrins because it's um, an Orthodox church and a Catholic church. But um, they each have their own little island. Uh, this place just kills me. I want to die here. This is where I want to be buried. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. All right, I'm leaving the car and I want to take it on foot because I want to show you guys this beautiful city. So this is the city of Kator. And um, this is like the one that's the most important on the bay. So here are the ruins, but the castle is over here. And so it's a big gated city. It's just, wow. I love how these cliffs just like touch up to the skies. It's amazing. Okay, um, so uh, we're gonna walk over to uh, the main castle gates. I really don't know how to describe to you guys just how blue the water here is in Montenegro. I thought Serbia was pretty. Um, a while back with Shubham, we went to um, uh, this place. Um, and I thought that was really cool, but it turns out that all of Montenegro is like that. All of the rivers, all of the waters, everything. Also, I want to point out all the Vespas, everything, all the nice um, 
motorcycles, the nice BMW motorcycles, because uh, this area is kind of like a mecca for motorcyclists. So if you're a motorcyclist, this is your place. There's a really cool road I'll show you in just a little bit. But um, this is the entrance um, to the fort. Um, I'm not going to go too far inside, but there is one thing I want to point out, and that's uh, the date on the top, um, which is 1944. As everybody knows, something famous happened in 1940s. Uh, that's, this was around the time of um, World War II. Um, so uh, this fort was manned by a whole bunch of different people, of course, through all kinds of generations. This is, um, I think it's called St. John's Mountain or something here, so it's like St. John's Castle, I guess. But um, uh, when the, uh, let's see, this was controlled by the Austrian Empire, and then during the Austrian Empire, during World War I, um, after they lost, then they left it. It was kind of unmanned. Um, and then the Axis forces took it over during World War II. Axis forces being like the Italian forces, the German forces. And so in 1943, then uh, the Germans then came into the city. And the Germans then took over the fort. It's getting kind of loud over there from all the motorcyclists. And um, anyway, so then uh, the fort then was liberated in 1944 from the Germans. And that's why over the Seagate, uh, that's why they put the, uh, the 1944 up here. So let's go inside, let's go check it out. like a proper little provincial city. I enjoy this. I'm just gonna take some random alleyways. We'll see where it takes us. Yeah. You can see the ramparts all the way up there at the top. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Also, I should mention that, uh, also I should mention that Kator is famous for its, um, its cats. Privet. I'm just picking random ways to go. It is very, very easy to get lost here. But man, Montenegro, beautiful country. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <Good. laughs> this kind of wine is uh, special to Montenegro, the Veronica. Uh, it's a special kind of um, grape that uh, it's a, when I was up in the Artist Ranch, that's the kind of grapes that we were growing uh, because that's what's special for Montenegro. And of course some pizza, this is some salami beef. Um, a lot of Montenegrins also like to put um, prosciutto on their pizza. All right, we're gonna head out now. Um, there's one more place I want to show you guys in this area. Um, it's one of the craziest roads I've ever seen anywhere in the world. So, it's called the Serpentine. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're about to start the Kotar Serpentine. But real quick, since we're over it, I want to show you. A, a plane is, is just taking off right now. That's where the sound is coming from. Uh, this down here is uh, Tivat Airport. I think it's Tivat, actually. But um, this is kind of in the middle of the Bay of Kotar. Bay of Kotar keeps going around this way, and so we're going to be taking this road, and it's going to serpentine all the way up. Okay, we've reached the top of the serpentine. We've reached the top of the snake. It's a very, very beautiful drive. Very, very fun. I might add that too. Um, I decided, uh, just because there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff, I made a whole separate video about it, so uh, I'll put the link up here or something, but um, I definitely would recommend, if you come out here, come take a look at this road. Um, it's really, really fun to drive up, especially if you have a manual. If you know how to drive manual, man, you're going to die and you're going to go to heaven. Actually, you're not going to die. I, I don't knock on wood. Uh, you will not die, but you will um, be so excited that you will be ready to die because it is, it is so much fun. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's adventures. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming yet for Montenegro, um, and it all involves stuff way down here, further in the bay. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.